Next, we'll be meeting another little wonder, and his name is Karthik. He does mythological storytelling. Are you excited? Because I am. I am too. Hello, everybody. My name is Karthik, and I am going to tell you a story today. This story is based on Tenari Ravan, and the story is called Silence is Golden. There was once a man named Money. Money was always very quarrelsome. He used to shout and fight with his wife, his neighbors, his friends, everyone. Soon, everyone started not talking to Money. Money went to Tenali Raman because he was sad. And he asked Tenali Raman for advice. Tenali Raman gave Money a bottle of medicine. He said, Here you go, Money. This will help. He also said, Money, whenever you are in an argument, take a sip of this medicine and keep it in your mouth. Don't swallow it until the other person has finished talking. Then you swallow it. Money thanked Tenali Raman. A few days later, Money went back to Tenali Raman and said, Tenali Raman, this medicine is really working, but it has finished and is empty. Can I please have some more? Tenali Raman laughed. <laughs> Tenali Raman said, Money, this isn't medicine. This is just plain old water. Money was confused. Money asked Tenali Raman what he meant. Tenali Raman said, I'll explain money. Whenever you were in an argument, you took a sip of this medicine and kept it in your mouth until the other person had finished talking, which means you couldn't speak. And money, a one person argument isn't that long. And money, always remember, you should always keep silent when you're in a when you're in an argument. That's why silence is golden. Hi, Hi Karthik. Welcome to Little Wanda. Hello. So how's your day been? It's good. How's yours? Mine's good too. So today we're going to ask you a few questions, okay? So, can I start by saying, what's your inspiration for most of them? Well, I got inspired by my mother. Does your mother also write stories? Yep, she loves writing. What are most of your stories about? Uh, well, they're about more goddess and goddesses. Uh, could you tell me one of them? And also, Phil, uh, you know your characters. Are any of them based on you? Um, I don't Tell us a bit about your mythological stories. Um, I love reading them and then I like giving uh, the information to the other people. And I like to uh, sometimes, if it's maybe be a TV or something, I like to watch it on there. Because uh, like I like how they like, give blessings and how they fight with the uh, rats. Will you be able to tell us a mythological story? Uh, okay. There's a story about an elephant-headed boy, and he's a god. So, there was once a woman named Parvati, and she, she went to take a bath, and so she took her boy out for garden, but her husband came, and the boy was the boy thought that this, this is my 
this is my master's husband. So the boy decided to let the husband go. The husband's name was Shiva. Parvati then thought that I need to make a, I need to get a son or a daughter of my own to protect me to have my bar. So out of her body she she made a face and she out of that face she a boy out of that. So she made a statue of a boy. Then she gave the boy the blessing and that boy turned into a real boy. Wow. So after that she also took a bath and and this first son to they are the dog to let no one come in. So the son stood at the door and he let no one come in. And even Shiva, he didn't even let Shiva come in. So Shiva became very, very furious and he cut off the boy's head. Oh god, oh no. But why? This story sounds very familiar. Is this the story about Ganesha? Why do you like these stories so much? Um, I like it because I like how uh, there there are just different characters in them. The different characters have different roles that they play, and they have very interesting roles. Where some of them fight, some of them give blessings. Is it hard for you to memorize the stories by heart, or does it just naturally come to you? Have you ever made your own story? Have you ever told of your own story? Uh, yes. Have you made multiple? Uh, not multiple. Oh, not multiple. Because one of my stories was about a glove who came to life. It was a comic book. What's your favorite story to tell? Mm, I'm not exactly sure. Hmm. Um, what do you think you need to work on? Mm. Well, I might be maybe slowly getting, saying the stories fluently. Would you give us some tips on how to become a really good storyteller? Uh, well, maybe write the story and then you can read that whatever you wrote a few times. And then when you think you're confident enough, then you can probably read it out and you can say Hmm, thank you. That's some really helpful tips. What would you rate yourself out of 10, zero being the worst? Maybe 7. Hmm, I think you're a 10. Why 7? Uh, I don't know. Do you want to do this in the long run or is this just a little hobby? Uh, it's kind of a hobby because I just like uh, normally just telling stories all the time. You also like maybe writing different kind of things like maybe information reports or anything else like uh, that? Yes, sometimes. So now Karthik, we're gonna ask you a riddle and if you want to get this question right, then you'll get a big surprise. So you better have your listening ears on. I'll let Shreya ask you. Uh, the riddle is, what has words but never speaks? A book. Great wow, job. that's correct. Yeah, that's you correct. You're so fast. Okay, so congratulations. You just won a voucher from Studio M4, congratulations. Thank you. Isn't that a coincidence? You also write books. 
Okay, um, thank you so much for coming and answering a few questions of ours. It was really nice seeing thank you, Parker. Thank you for having me. Bye. 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 And if you want to have a special talent that you would also like to share to us and everybody else, then send in your applications to littlewondermfortv.com.au.